You can't see me now. But now you do. Look at that. See? Look, y'all, that's totally my powers, y'all. Definitely not editing um, uh, tools and things like that. Definitely my powers that I have. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Stop the cap. And not editing, you know. So, yeah, believe it. Anyways, yo, what is that TVGU? It's John Bucks, and today, take us back again with another video, y'all. And you know what time it is. It's Scripture Sunday. Every Sunday. It's a Sunday right now at... 157, every Sunday, we read a scripture from the amazing word of God, and we break it down so it can help your life. Y'all, I say it can help your day, your month, your year, and your life. That's what we do here, y'all. The word of God is uh, amazing. It helps you throughout your day, your life, y'all. So that's what we do here, y'all. Today's scripture is coming from 1 Corinthians 9:10, and it says this. The plowman out to plow in hope, and the thresher to thresh in hope of sharing the harvest. Read it one more time. For the people in the back, read it one more time. The plowman ought to plow in hope and the thresher to thresh in hope of sharing the harvest. All right, let's time to break this down. See y'all, I'm, I'm being real, this for real y'all. I was just looking through my Bible this morning and I was trying to find a scripture for the day and I was like, I couldn't really think of one. And I was just, you know what, I'm just gonna flip through the word, flip through the Bible and see what, you know, what speaks out to me. And I came across this one and I was like, this the one. It's the one right here. And uh, y'all ever seen a plowman, y'all? I'm going to show a quick picture, you know, or a video. Uh, you ever seen a plowman? And now they have, like, you know, machines for it, right? They do it really fast now. But back in the day, uh, plowing is just, they're just getting ready to plant the seeds. They're, like, threshing uh, the ground and getting ready to plant the seeds for a great harvest, right? That's what the plowing does. That's what the plowman does. And now they have the big machines to do it, but they used to have to do it manually with horses and things like that back then, and it was just a lot of work. Well, the reason why, you may say, Giles, why did this stick out to you? Because Paul says, plow in hope. And I was like, plow in hope. Well, whenever a plowman is plowing, uh, that's a lot of plows, y'all. I, I guess you can do a little counter, how many times I say plow. But um, whenever the plowman is plowing, he's getting ready to plant the seeds. He's getting ready to plant the seeds, and he's expecting a harvest. You don't see a person out there in those big old fields plowing for nothing. They're getting ready to plant big old harvest. You ever pass? Oh no. <laughs> Had a little wasp trying to get in the video. Just ignore that. Edit that out, Giles. Uh, anyway. Nope. In fact, I'm gonna replay it. And big old harvest. You ever pass? Oh no. Okay. Uh, you don't see, you never, you pass by the highways and you see those big old corn fields and things like that, the big old, all the plants and stuff. Well, the planter, the farmer, they had that in mind. They were getting ready for a big harvest. Real life right now, you may be plowing. You may be plowing right now. And it can feel hard work. It can feel like hard, like really hard, rigorous, tiring at times. Because back then, like I said, they didn't have the machines and all that. They had horses and they had to do it manually. So it was a lot of work. It was rigorous. There were probably times they were out there in the hot sun, um, just plowing, continuing to do it. But they were expecting. They were plowing in hope for the harvest. So in your life, expect it. Don't just plow to plow. Plow in hope. Whatever thing, you, whatever thing you're working hard for, expect a great harvest. Whether that be um, working to reach your goals, working to make the team, working um, really hard to start your business, working really hard to get this certain um, thing you want, don't stop plowing. Plow in hope and expect the harvest. That's the main thing too. You gotta expect the harvest. Just like the farmer out there would go out to the fields and see, he's looking at that field and saying, you know what? I'm expecting a great harvest. That's why I'm about to plow. So whatever you're doing right now, expect a great harvest and plow and hope. And with God on your side, y'all, that harvest is going to be pretty good. I wrote that down right here. With God on your side, God says he's with us. He can never leave us, nor forsake us. That harvest that you're working really hard for, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. And don't get discouraged because the plowing is tiring. I know in your life right now, you may be tired of plowing. You may feel discouraged, but don't be discouraged, y'all. Don't plow in doubt, plow in hope. Because guess what? The fact that you're plowing right now, the fact that you're really hard working right now, is a sign that that's gonna be a great, abundant harvest headed your way right now. So y'all, don't get discouraged. Don't um, give up. Keep plowing 
and hope. You're plowing because you're getting ready for a harvest. God puts you in that plowing right now because you're getting ready for a harvest. So, you know, when I say plow, you say in hope. Plow. Plow. I'm really do it. Wherever you are, I want you to do it, alright? I, I, I didn't see you do it. I'm gonna do it one more time. When I say plow, you say in hope. Plow. 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 Yeah. Yeah, guys, that's gonna wrap up today's Scripture Sunday. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give this video a like. If you're new to the channel, I encourage you to subscribe. Turn on the bell button. Comment that you did that so I can give you a shout out. Matter of fact, we got another shout out for today, y'all. Now it goes to Michael James. Appreciate you, Michael, for subscribing, y'all. Thank you guys for all the support. We're really growing, y'all. Uh, we take guys taking this far. Hope you go, you know, all the way to the millions, y'all, doing this. So, you think guys so much for all the love and support. I appreciate it. Feel free to go check out my website, jobsbooks.com. And yeah, stay positive, stay happy, and remember, never give up. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.